Hi gang, Apple added a new feature starting with iOS 15.2 called Legacy Contact Access Key. And this is a very fancy word, which means when you die, someone that's related to you can access your data. I know it's grim, but I think everybody should do it, and it just takes a minute to set it up. Let me show you how. It starts in the settings application, and you'll want to tap on your face above for iCloud, and then you'll want to tap on password and security. Once you do that, scroll to the bottom. You can see it says legacy contact. I'm gonna go ahead and tap on that. And now I can add a new legacy contact. Now the legacy contact can download data from your account after your death. It takes a couple things for that to happen. They have to have a special code. They've gotta have your birthday and they've gotta have your death certificate. So. Making someone your legacy contact doesn't let them just immediately access all your data, but it is a great way to let them deal with this stuff, you know, if you get hit by a bus. So once you decide to do this, tap on the add legacy contact button, and then it gives you this screen that shows you once more what you're signing up for. You need to add someone you trust, then you're gonna share your access key, and then you can pass down your digital legacy. And by the way, that digital legacy is your personal information. It's not your purchased media. So sadly, they will not get all of the digital versions of Star Wars I have bought. But either way, click Add Legacy Contact on the button when you're ready to get started. And by default, it's going to put up your family sharing members so you can go through and select whichever one of those you want. You cannot select multiples. I'm going to select Daisy, my wife. And then I'm going to once again take a look at the screen as to what she's getting access to and click continue. Now it's setting her up as my legacy contact and it gives me an option at the end to send her a message where she can get this uh, legacy key, which can be automatically added to her iPhone or I can print a copy and put it in with my estate planning documents and that'll have a QR code she can scan. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So I'll go ahead and print this and it prints it out. Now, sadly, I can't do both. I feel like you should be able to both send it to her digitally and print it out. That's all there really is to it. You can add multiples if you want, so I could go back and add my daughter in addition to my wife. Uh, but to set this up just takes a few minutes, and I think everybody should do it. None of us are getting out of this alive, and we want to make it as easy as possible for everyone else when we do.